Hey guys, it's Pandorio, hope you're doing well. Today I want to show you my little home studio because I often get the question like, Ben, I want to start making music, what should I buy, what can you recommend for a beginner? And that's what I'm going to share with you. Five essentials you need in order to build your home studio. Okay, so a little side note in the beginning. For me, it also took years to build this, what I have, and it's not even that big but I'm able to now write and fully produce my songs at home, which is awesome. And it was not possible like let's say 10 years ago. Today it costs like the fraction of the price, but it's still relatively expensive. So my tip is be patient and just build it up over the years. If you really enjoy the process, if you love making music, then it's an investment for a lifetime. I will put everything down in the description below, all the links, um, all the gadgets I have. Disclaimer, these might be affiliate links, so there's no extra cost on your side, but I might get compensated. Hopefully you will find a deal. Quick side note, and basically this is tip number zero, is that don't buy anything that you cannot afford okay because it's a hobby it's a beautiful hobby but it's still just a hobby and to that it's quite expensive so don't buy anything that is not in the budget or that might feel as a bit of a stretch be patient start with what you have and i'm pretty sure you will be able to build your home studio step by step over the years okay tip number one is you need a computer and a music making software if you don't have these you probably have a device that you are watching this video on this can be a phone this can be a tablet or an ipad and just start with those for example on the ipad there is an app called garage band and it's free it's pre-installed and it's the light version of logic pro which is the professional software i use so you can just try it out and see if you have fun with it the other software i use is ableton live there is a trial version you can try it for 90 days uh, this is good for apple products this is good for pc products there's nothing to lose so as I said, I'm currently using a MacBook Pro with Logic and Ableton Live softwares on it. And there is a whole debate of which software is the best and blah, blah, blah. I would say the one that you know, that's the best software. Because if you know the shortcuts and you're really fast, then you will be able to write great music. So the software doesn't really matter. But if you want my opinion, I think Logic is a great overall music making software and Ableton Live and FL Studio, for example, they are more for hip hop or electronic music, but basically you can do anything with every software. Essential number two is pair of headphones. Honestly, these are great investments. So if you wanna spend a little bit more on the headphones, go for it because they're really worth the money. You can find these for 150 bucks or less and they are used in professional studios. So they are really great. Uh, for recording, for mixing, uh, this Audio Technica ATH-M50X. It's a great overall pair of headphones. The advantage of these is that you will able to hear frequencies that you've never heard before. So, for example, if you have these little earphones, they are great for consuming music, but they're not so great for producing. So I would really recommend to invest in these. If you're a music producer, basically that's it. A laptop, a software, and a pair of headphones, and you're good to go. You'll be able to write music on the train, on the airplane, just everywhere basically but if you're a singer songwriter there's a couple other devices that you might need essential number three is an audio interface and an audio interface is a little box it's kind of like the middleman between your computer and your microphone or the instrument you want to record on its own it doesn't do a whole lot but without it you won't be able to record professional music these are around like 100 150 bucks make sure that it has like two in and two out you want to be able to plug the guitar in as well if you don't know how to use it let me know in the comment section and i will try to answer that essential number four is actually this right here mic this is a Rode NT1A mic it's a solid vocal microphone basically i'm recording my songs with this one i have another microphone this is an audio technica at2020 this is a good overall mic and I'm recording my acoustic guitar with it. As I said, I connect these with my audio interface and then it goes directly into the computer. Worth mentioning that they need extra cables and specifically this one, XLR cables. This is the typical microphone cable. If you buy microphones not in a set, nine times out of 10, they don't come with a cable. Just so you know, to be aware of that. Essential number five is instrument of your choice. For me, this is my acoustic guitar, uh, actually electroacoustic, so I can also plug this into 
the audio, in, audio interface, but I prefer recording it uh, separately. And uh, I also have this Squire by Fender electric guitar. This is definitely something that I am connecting to the audio interface. And I put some amp within the software on it and it sounds like an electric guitar. Instrument of your choice should be also at least a little MIDI keyboard. This is awesome. Two octave MIDI keyboard. You can play everything like chords and little melodies and you can record them directly into the computer. I really recommend this one even if you're not a pianist then then become one because long term it pays off and if you're playing and then recording it it just has the human touch one can feel it it just sounds better and not so robotic so this would be tip number five instrument of your choice okay guys so this is it this would be my five tips to build your home studio and uh, you might be wondering did you just forget the speakers and I did not. Uh, I'm using these guys here. These are the iLoud Micro for the price. They are awesome. They could have just a little bit more bass, but obviously they are pretty tiny. You can even travel with them. And compared to the price, it's just the sound is amazing. But I would say they are not essential. So I would rather get headphones. Just don't produce music too loud. Uh, I'm talking to myself. And once you covered all the basics and you still have money left, and you want to invest further in your home studio then sure go for them speaker on the left speaker on the right they look great and that will be the next step to your home studio summary essential number one is computer with the music making software number two is a pair of headphones number three is audio interface number four is an uh what was that? Number four is microphone, mostly for vocals, but also for instruments you want to record. And number five is an instrument of your choice. I would definitely recommend at least the MIDI keyboard. So you are like partially a pianist. Or if you're a guitarist, then obviously the guitar, you might already have one. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, my song is coming up this Friday. Why did I say that? I don't know. I guess it's just promo. So thank you so much for your support. If you have any questions, thoughts, let me know down in the comment section and take care and see you soon.